This is a prayer blanket. There's nothing special about the blanket itself. It can be used in any way that you wish. What makes this blanket different and hopefully special for you is that someone was praying for you as it was being made. Our hope is that every time you use this blanket, you will feel surrounded by God's love and wrapped in prayers. People from our congregation have made these blankets for you, seniors. They're personalized with a Bible verse that's close to your heart or your parents chose for you, also embroidered with your name on it. And this is going to be given to you tonight but then also given again when we have a blessing event right around graduation time on graduation Sunday. And here is the picture. As this is unwrapped and put around you, I want you to imagine that it's God's love wrapping you. And it's love that's expressed from your parents, and then also from your church family, the body of Christ here. Now, as that's be being given to you, also a blessing will be given. A blessing, what is it? Well, a blessing is something good that God gives us. It can be a material thing or a spiritual thing. But when we pray a blessing, it is a prayer spoken out loud that God would give that good thing to that person. And it can be very specific. So when we pray a blessing over someone, we can pray that God would continue to spiritually bless that person, maybe in the way that God has redeemed that person, and given that person a calling. Parents, I'm going to invite you to speak a blessing over your child tonight. That's very simply said, a prayer spoken out loud. And as you do, wrap your son or daughter in the blankie. Now, what's going to help you get to that point is the first thing I'd like you to do is when you're with them, is to think back when your child was four years old, when they were just at the end of that blankie stage. And already at that time, you noticed how God had a special gifting, a special uniqueness that God had given your child. Um, and it would be nice if you in front of your child, just thank God for the uniqueness that you've noticed and even maybe the calling that you've noticed on your child's life as you talk about them, remembering all the way back into the days when they were four years old. That's kind of a neat bit of history because time has gone by pretty fast, hasn't it? And after you've given thanks to God for that and expressed that to them, then I would like you to lay your hands on your child. They're wrapped in their blankets. And to say, I bless you. Um, I bless you, Jennifer, that God's calling on you to have such compassion for people because of the way you care about God and His purposes, that it would flow through your life now and then especially as you go to your future away from home. That is a sample of a blessing. This is not about how pretty your words sound. This is about just speaking what you see God doing in your son or daughter's future and praying the best because he's the one doing it. After that, you might use your blankie for a little bit of that. <laughs> 
And then uh, when you're ready, then you can go ahead and leave. We'll let you know, by the way, uh, when we have graduation Sunday. And when you come back for that, we want you not to come as just parents and student. We want you to come having invited some people into your web of support that they too would come up to the front of church with you on that Sunday. And those people will also be able to either silently or, or out loud pray for this young person. We will let you know more about that through letters. So at this time, the blankets are labeled by name, and Suze is over here, and Steve is over there, and they actually have looked to see where you are sitting. So if you go back there, they will help you find your blankets, find your blankets on this side of the room there, unwrap them, take some time, and again, very simply, you're recalling uh, what it was like when they were four years old, and then also now praying a, f a blessing now and in the future as God's calling is on your child. Thank you.